Parquet is a columnar storage format designed to enhance performance and storage optimization for large-scale data processing. It differs fundamentally from the traditional role-based format like the CSV files or the JavaScript object notation file by organizing data into columns rather than into rows. And this column approach facilitates more efficient data compression and encoding. And it is much easier to save a lot of cost when storing your data in Parquet file. In this data engineering episode, I'm going to walk you through on how to convert multiple CSV files to a single packet file. So let's get started. I'm going to come to the portal.azure.com and I'm going to browse through my cornerstone ADLS Gen 2 storage account type. Now, in the storage account, I've got a container that is called csv.parquet clean data. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to see the record directory that is holding all the record for the 2015 to 2023 CSV files. I'm going to investigate the sales 2015, click on that, and then I want to preview the data. And there we go. We have the year region to the sales columns. I'm going to close this for now and let's come to the Azure Data Factory Studio. In the Azure Data Factory, I want to come to the manage. Now, I love to create linked service first before creating the data set. So under the connections, I'm going to go ahead and click on create linked service. And this is going to be Azure Data Lake Storage J2. And then I can provide the name for my subscription. And then I will pick the storage account name, Cornerstone ADLS Gen 2, and then test connection to the source. So this is successful. Click on Create. And we have the linked service created. So in this case, we only need a single linked service because we're going to be getting the data from the ADLS Gen 2 and also get the solution into the same ADLS Gen 2 in a different container. I'm going to click on Auto under the factory resources. We want to create copy data activity pipeline. So click on this ellipsis and then create new pipeline. And then I'm going to set for copy data activity and drop in the canvas. Let me just collapse all of these for now. And then in the properties, I'm going to call this one CSV to Parquet file. Okay, so I can go on and close these properties. So I can see the copy data and I can, under the general tab, provide a meaningful name for this, but this is not necessary. I'm going to come to the source. Now, in the source, I'm going to create source data set. So click on this new. And this is going to be Azure Data Lake Storage J2. And because our data are in comma separated value csv files i'm going to choose the delimited text as the file format so click on continue and then i can change this to csv files and i'm going to pick the linked service we created click on that and i'm going to browse through the file path the container the directory and possibly the file name but in this case we're going to be appending all the files so i'm not going to provide any for the file name so click on the browse and i'm going to see the csv to particular data container and then i want to access the records directory that is holding the sales 2015 to 2023.csv files now because we're going to be appending all of these so i'm going to click ok and then the first row is our header. So I'm going to go with this import schema from connection store and then click OK. I'm going to come to the sync, the destination, and I'm going to create sync data set by clicking on this nail. Again, I'm going to search for Azure Data Lake Storage and Tool. And this is where the core of the matter is because we're converting all these files to the parquet. I'm going to choose the parquet file format and then click on continue. For the file path, I'm going to create a new container. I'm going to call this one sales data parquet. And I can create a directory, but this is not necessary. I'm going to choose input schema as none and I can click OK. So we have the source and the sync. Now, when I click on the validate, I'm going to see this error 
copy data file format of data set csv file so is a folder the workout file name is required for copy data so i'm going to come close this and come to the source and i can see the file path type so by default we could have this file path in data set but i'm going to choose the wildcard file and i'm going to see the name of my container and this is going to give me all the record this starts going to give me all the record in that container lovely i'm going to come to the sync and show you something because our goal is to convert all the files into a single parquet file so i'm going to use the copy behavior so when i click on this i'm going to see different kind of options we have the flatten hierarchy match files preserve hierarchy and i'm going to use the match file so we're going to match all the files into a single parquet file so this is really important that's lovely so i can click on validate and no errors whatsoever and i can click on the debug and i'm going to see the job ready to execute so under the output tab i'm going to see that this has been killed as the status and i can see the name i can see the current duration i'm going to click on this refresh so this is 70 seconds and i'm just going to wait for maybe 30 seconds or less there we go succeeded so i can come here and see what's going on click on this and i can see data read 18,662 and then data rating 7,101 and then we have all these files read nine files okay don't forget we've got nine csv files okay and then we have other information such as the row read and rows copied so let's go ahead and check this out i'm going to come here and go back to my container and i can right click or let me just click on refresh so there we go so we have the sales data packet so when i click on that there we go so we have the packet file and i can click that and when i click on the edit unfortunately we can't preview the packet file easily but this is how we can convert multiple csv files to packet file i trust you this video if you do like share comment and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now